Good morning, my little rays of sunshine. How are you all doing this morning? I'm Michelle the Introvert, and today we are going to be doing the last and final part of my rhubarb theme. Now, if you haven't seen the first two parts of my rhubarb theme, I will put a link at the very end of this vlog, right at the very end. So if you want to tune into those two, that would be great. But today is the third and final part of my rhubarb theme. And what is the recipe of choice for today, you ask? I'm glad you asked. Okay, so the recipe for today is rhubarb muffins. So I'll give you a close up on that recipe so you can see the measurements and all the ingredients that are required and the optional ingredients as well that are in this recipe. Now I have made rhubarb muffins before, but I haven't made this particular recipe before and it looks fantastic. So come on along my friends and let's check this recipe out. Here's a close up of the recipe. Rhubarb muffins, one and one fourth cups of flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, one fourth a cup of white sugar, one fourth cup of brown sugar, one and a half cups of diced rhubarb, one cup of drained pineapple, um, one cup of drained pineapple, and that is optional, one large egg, half a cup of milk, one fourth a cup of oil, one teaspoon of almond flavoring, white or powdered sugar for top, and of course this part here, this is optional as well. So the first thing we're going to do is take all of the dry ingredients that we have. This is the flour and we're going to pour that right into this big bowl. There we go. That's the flour and next comes the baking powder and salt. So that goes in as well. And the white sugar and brown sugar goes in too. Pour that in. Step two will be to take your egg and put it in this bowl here. And we're going to mix this all in or beat it. Just like that. Very easy. And then all of the wet ingredients that we have, the milk goes in, the vegetable oil or whatever type of oil you prefer, that goes in as well. I have this almond extract and we need one teaspoon of this almond extract to put inside. Let's pour that in there. And in the bowl it goes. Just like that. So we have all our wet ingredients in this bowl. Just gonna stir it in a little tiny bit. And the next easy step is to pour all of these wet ingredients into the dry ingredients just like just like that just so easy pour that in the last little bit goes in nothing in there good and we'll stir everything all together Look at the nice coloring of the rhubarb in there. 
Oh, and it smells really good too. I have everything all mixed in really nice. And now that that's mixed in, I'm going to turn my oven on to 375 degrees. And I have some Pam here, non-stick cooking spray. And this is what I'm going to use to put in my muffin tins here. I really love this, this cooking spray. It works really, really well. It makes life a lot easier when it comes to getting all of the muffins out after they are baked. When these muffins are done, they're going to taste really good with coffee in the morning, or tea in the afternoon, or a snack, or even a dessert. kitchen is going to smell really nice once this starts baking in the oven. And this bakes for about 20 minutes according to the recipe. It takes about 20 minutes to bake this. Put a little more on that one. So it's going to be very flavorful. Plus with the almond extract that's in there, that'll taste quite good I think. I'll put, a little, I'll put a little more in this first one here. And there's enough there for nine anyway. So that's good. That's good to know, isn't it? Gives you a bit of an idea of how much one batch makes. So this is great. And we'll take a good look at it and have a taste test when I take it out of the oven. So it's been 20 minutes. 20, 22 minutes anyway, to be exact. And I just took my rhubarb muffins out of the oven. They look pretty good. And they're cooked through as well. I inserted a knife into this middle one and it came out clean. So that's how I knew that it was cooked all the way through. So I'm just gonna give it a minute or two and put it on my cooling rack. And then shortly after, it will be time to do a taste test. Well, my friends, here it is. Time for the grand taste test. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, that turned out really, really nice, I'm happy to say. And I will be making these again. <laughs> yes, this is great. This is going to taste good with coffee or tea. Or anything like that. Well my friends, I think that's gonna do it and I want to thank you for joining me this morning. It was a really good morning. I found that the morning went by quite fast <laughs> and it didn't take long to make those muffins so thumbs up to that. And speaking of thumbs up, if you like this vlog please give me the YouTube thumbs up or press that subscribe button. That would be great and I have more vlogs to come. The summer is here. And I've got some really good plans. So stick around, you guys. Stay tuned. I have a lot more vlogs to come. And they're going to be fun. Thank you again, you guys. I love having your company. And I will talk to you again very shortly. Talk to you soon. Bye.